Come here, Mr. Spitfire. Ready? Oh, goodness me, the Italian 50s. Hey, come back here. I will get you eventually. Well, I think it's time to switch sides now, actually. Huh? G'day, I'm Ash. Welcome yourselves back to War Thunder. This time we're going to be talking about some of the rare vehicles that no longer exist or operate. This is an SM79 Biz slash TM. Now it's not a rare vehicle because you can unlock it in the Italian tech tree right here. It is a bomber aircraft, but for the Guinness World Records, uh, for the most vehicles in a video game, Gudge Entertainment in early 20, I want to say 14, maybe 2015, put in a series of vehicles that you could actually obtain just to get the record. Now, they'd eventually attain this anyway, but I have a feeling they'll try to beat World of Tanks. Anyhow, now I, I have most aircraft in, in, in War Thunder. I've only got a handful left, except for maybe the couple that were removed due to excess. One of these ones is the Kai 10 2C. This one is infamous because it is the very first helicopter to be in War Thunder. And I mean that officially, this thing had a climb rate of an insane uh, like 30 or 40 meters a second back in the day. Although <laughs> it's lightweight and decent engine really combined that. And this thing was the OG helicopter, at least in my mind. The OS2Us, the Kingfishers, are vehicles that if you start a brand new account now, you won't necessarily see. If you've played naval, they had an, a, a chance where you could play 10 naval battles and unlock both aircraft. Other than that, let's get into the gravy. Now I'm going to be telling you a story about how Gaussian Entertainment got the world record for the amount of aircraft in a flight simulator. With one of these, as well as several other aircraft. Now, you can look them up on the Wikipedia page, uh, and it'll show you some of the vehicles listed under some of the categories. Oh, my goodness. This thing is impressive. Considering it was introduced in patch 1.27 and was initially in the game well before it became open beta, the aircraft was removed in update 1.37, which was how long ago now? 1.37 was introduced 18th of December 2013. And I remember this aircraft uh, pretty darn well. It's got a machine gun that's mounted in the front there that the pilot can control and then it's got a rear gunner dorsal gunners and then a rear under gunner as well it's a pretty unique looking aircraft actually but rating a 2.3 in realistic it's got three engines carries a bunch of bombs uh, it's got one 12.7 millimeter machine gun in the front there and yeah it can hold a standard selection of bombs which are all identical to any other previous sm79 it's actually got very impressive engines for an aircraft of its time. This is designed in 1937, and as such, a nine-cylinder radial air-cooled Alfa Romeos with 860 horsepower each, and that this aircraft is quite fun. And me and the boys just, uh, when the music's really starting to go, look at this. <laughs> the AI. Oh. oh, goodness me, I can't get that oddballs song stuck out of my head. Anyway. Well, I think we've got to go destroy a couple of grand targets. I'm not entirely sure. It reminds me that on the 28th of June 2014, they actually got the Guinness World Record for the amount of aircraft. And they also included this interesting infographic, so to speak, with, you know, 150 missions, 345 aircraft, 83 bombers, 23 attackers, 239 fighters. 27 biplanes and 311 piston uh, aircraft and 34 jet aircraft. And obviously, there are some interesting other statistics there as well. The most popular aircraft, the I-16, and the rarest aircraft, which is actually the Wiraway to this day, it still is one of the rarest aircraft. But the most shot down, the HS-129, and the least shot down plane, the G8N1. That's because it was the original Death Star, back before the Tu-4 was even a consideration. And obviously the original 20 mils. Anyway, we've killed one grand unit, and then it's instantly got a cutscene, and then spawned me back here. I have no idea what's going on. You're telling me that I've just dropped one singular bomb on an AA, and now I've mission complete? There was like 20 grand units. Oh, hello, Mr. Spitfire. Come here. Oh, no, another cutscene. It's almost like playing one of those uh, story-based games. Ah, yes, cutscene. With no artificial meaning, just cutscene for the sake of cutscenes. 
Is that it? Oh, my gun is going off. Come here. Yeah, well, that's it. That's GG. <laughs> this is probably the shortest dynamic campaign mission I have played ever. I specifically wanted this one because, you know, it'd be an interesting story. So anyway, they then subsequently removed a lot of these aircraft like this particular one right here. And it kind of disappoints me. I wish they were back in the game, at least accessible. Now, content creators can't get access to these things. We can't even request test drives of them. Ghost Entertainment doesn't want to give us them at all, but hey, it's worth what it is worth, I suppose. Come here, Mr. Spitfire. You know, I, I can't not end the video and actually do something productive. Okay, a couple of hits. See, again, 12.7 Breda uh, belts being as effective as normal. Come on, turn with him. It's quite impressive that this machine is actually doing it. Right, only a few negative Gs and positive ones. Okay, here we go. Let's roll the rudder back around. Come on. And now we lay into him. It's a 2B. Well, it's basically not going to be a minute. How is he not dead? Put that much rounds into him. Hit. Okay, he's leaking something. More hits. More hits. I've only got 81 rounds left. I've got to wait for the machine gun to cool down. Come on. Yes, yes. Success. Ah, uh, there we go. So yeah, that's the tale of how Ghost Entertainment got the world record for the most aircraft in a flight simulator. If you like aviation and you like seaplanes, then you might actually like this video that I did recently on my second channel, Aircraft on Jacks. It's about a three-engine German aircraft which served with the Allies and the Axis. And it's a very fascinating tale, I assure you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.